I feel like we already, you know, have gotten to know each other. The first thing I saw was your boob downstairs <laughs> because it was coming out. She's like, hey, she's like, here's my boob. Can you help me zip up? And I'm well, like, of course. Should we tell? The, so real quick, I'm like trying to get out of my house. My poor makeup artist left, had just left and I didn't think to ask her to help me zip. So I'm like, I, I could do this. You know, I got this. And I'm like, mm, mm. yeah. And then I'm like, oh, oh, dear, we're running late. We got to go. So I just threw on my leather jacket and uh, in the Uber ride. I just kept hiding it so the titty don't pop. Yeah. I think he caught a little glimpse, but it's OK. Well, he you know, I mean, you probably it. made his day. Hey, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Uber drivers don't always have like the most exciting stories to come home with. Well, some of so us. So we got a little flash. Oh, do you some have of, uh, do you have some I, Uber I, stories? I, I've talked to Uber drivers before. Really? I did. I didn't know we were going to go there yeah. so quickly. OK, well, clearly you have to tell us a story. Well, of course. <laughs> Well, um, I had to find someone who was cute, of course, because I was like, mm, you know, you, you can kind of picture. Kind of, kind of, let's be real. But I was like looking for someone around like my age who, because mm-hmm. uh, when I first started doing OnlyFans, like guy friends of mine were like, yo, can I be on it? It's such yeah, a- of course. And then I was like, hey, as your friend, you're going to get a girlfriend in six months and she's going to hate you for this. Mm-hmm. Like, but then we can't hang out. So, no. That's but, really kind of you. Oh, hey. Like, thoughtful. Oh, thank you so much. I was like, <laughs> hey, your girlfriend and I, is, your girlfriend is not going to be cool with us yeah. being friends at this. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways. Um, so, I kept, like, requesting them and requesting them. And after, like, the fourth one, I was like, okay, this guy looks around my age. And it, he looks like, I have, like, a weird feeling. I was like, this could be someone who would do it and, like, tell his friends that it's, like, a funny story. Mm-hmm. So, I got in there and, like. You can see on the video, I'm like holding the camera like on the floor to like record our conversation. And I'm like, oh, like, what's your name? Like, blah, 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 like small talk to like get a feel for their personality. Mm-hmm. And um, and then I go like, oh, do you have a girlfriend? They're like, no, no, I don't. I'm like, oh, like, do you know what OnlyFans is? And they're like, fuck yeah, I know what OnlyFans is, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, would you actually want to be on mine? Like, I was like, I will, uh, I'll pay you, like, if you just, like, fill out the paperwork, like, we won't put your face in it. Yeah. But if you want to be on it, like, wow. I guess you can hear their voice. I'm like, no one will necessarily know it's you. Right. And both of the times they're like, yeah. So, okay, so you've done this with two Uber yeah. drivers. How many have you approached and? Well, uh, the ones that... Those two worked out only because I kept looking at the person, and then if they didn't look like the right fit, I would cancel. Hmm. So I canceled on a bunch before I got those. Okay. Okay. So I see. So you yeah. order an Uber. Yeah. You wait for their photo to pop up. Yeah. And you decide whether or not they're good. Because <laughs> if they're in their like forties, they probably won't, because they don't know like what only. They may not know what OnlyFans is or they're like right. married or I don't know. So I was like, guys in like their late 20s, early 30s are probably going to be more down. Yeah. OK, so then do you fuck them in the car or yeah, do you go? Oh. Well, one, we like fucked in his car and then we were he was like, do you want to come to my place? And I was like, mm, sure. <laughs> and then, OK, so then it continued from there. Yeah. How were they? Because, I mean, you know, you and I both know working in the adult industry for a long time, mm-hmm. like a lot of guys say they can do the job and when oh, it comes yeah. down to it, they can't necessarily fulfill their obligations. So how how did these guys do? They did pretty fucking good. Huh. Like if someone's freaky enough to like fuck a girl they just That's met true. for OnlyFans, like and they're like confident enough to have their dick on the Internet, they're going to be decent. Yeah. I guess that's true because, you know, a lot of times when we're th- when I'm thinking about, you know, guys failing on set, it's always like on a big professional set with like a bunch oh of people gosh, yeah. and it's like you or, know, a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. This is I guess this is no different pressure kind of thing. <laughs> wow. I mean, I, I can't. Im- you know that like they went home and told their friends and no one believed them. Of course they didn't. Like I did send them. We kept in touch though. And I was like, hey, here's your video. That's nice of you. Yeah, of course. Like, I paid them. I had them sign the paperwork, you know, like. Oh, my God. I can't. This guy's just like, wow, this isn't such a bad job after all. <laughs> like, every other person <laughs> that gets in his car, he's like, hmm, is this the one? Is this like, the one? No, nah, man, that happen. was a one-off. 